Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2021. <laughs> I'm all tongue-tied. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Have you guys been feeling this crazy shift in energy? I usually experience this in the middle of October, but for some reason this year, I've been experiencing it um, the past two weeks. So there's definitely something that is unfolding. I will be doing a reading specifically on that. But for now, Libra, let's get into your love life. All right. We're starting off here with the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Empress card here. Interesting. Libra. Whoa. <clears throat> Just got real. Okay. Powerful cards, you guys. So we have the four of pentacles. There, you're resisting a connection. You're resisting some type of connection, some type of um. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're experiencing a lot of of synchronicities. Um, I see you resisting or pushing someone away. And I feel that the more you do that, the more the universe is bringing you closer to them. So this could be you bumping into them. This could be you seeing them at different locations, different places that you go to. What they're telling you here, and I'm going to be completely honest, Libra, you can't get away from this energy. <laughs> you have the 10 of swords. You need to embrace the end of a chapter. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been fighting for a connection, a relationship, something that just hasn't been working, and you continuously keep putting effort because you don't want to walk away from this. I do have the Empress card here, so it could be mother figure energy, so it could represent you guys, trying, especially if you're masculine, trying to fight for a connection because you may have children with someone. Um, for others of you, this is you fearing the future, fearing uh, what is unfolding, what is unknown to you. Um, so there is a bit of resistance there, and that could be the reason why you're either blocking or pushing this person away. However, with the Empress card, this is genuine love. This is a higher type of vibration. This is a person that could be very uh, bountiful, very blessed. They may have many different gifts. Um, or they may be financially secure and there could be a fear there um, of not wanting to open yourself up because you see them or view them as out of your league. And I know that sounds a bit harsh, but I feel that on a subconscious level for some of you guys, you may be dealing with this. You may be uh, battling your ego. Um, the tower and the wheel here leads me to believe that this is something that has been predestined. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a connection with someone that was predestined, pre-contract uh, from a past life. It could have been that the moment you met this person, there was an inevitable connection where you felt and acknowledged that deep pull or that um, very deep connection feeling of like it was very effortlessly to communicate and to talk to them. Uh, it felt very genuine and, and authentic. Um but with the tower here, I feel that they're really challenging you um, or circumstances and situations on how you met each other um, could also be a detriment. How you're viewing it anyways is a detriment uh, for the desire or the want to not fully embrace the feelings that you have here. Now, the person of your interest has the nine of cups, the six of swords, the eight of cups, the four of wands. And the six of cups. Yeah, exactly what I just said, Libra. You have the wheel here and we have the six of cups. Six of cups is always the past, but it also links us to past lives. With the wheel, of uh, the wheel, um, this is destiny. This is talking about predestined contracts from dealing with a person that you were in very deep connection with in a past life. Um, the tower here with the four of uh, four of wands there's a desire of wanting or knowing that there is potential in this connection that it could potentially lead to marriage this is a very deep rooted connection 
the tower is breaking down every single aspect of what you thought you knew. Um, this could be, you know, before you met this person, you could have visualized or thought you wanted a specific lifestyle, a specific relationship, even a specific person. Then this person shows up and it kind of challenges you because they are quite the opposite of what you're used to. However, you can ignore that feeling, that strong pull. Um, with the Eight of Cups here, we're also talking about having to shed, having to walk away from something that is no longer of service to you, walking away from something that is no longer like you've outgrown that situation. But there is fear of leading with your heart. Um, the Nine of Cups and Six of Swords indicates to me that this person was brought into your life or you met this person at a specific point in time in your life where there was a transition happening. And this could be on your side as well as on their part. Uh, with the Six of Swords, there could have been some type of distraction. Uh, they could have met someone that kind of pulled them from the path that they're supposed to be. The moment they realized that they walked away from that connection or they realized that that person was almost like a test to what they've dealt with in the past and they've had to surpass that, which they did, and they're coming towards their fulfillment, which is the contract fulfillment, which is the soul connection that you guys have. So again, I feel that this is a very powerful read for a lot of you Libras out there. You may be experiencing like there is a major transformation. If you haven't met this person as of yet, Libra, you may be intuitively picking up on feeling like there is something in the air. There is a shift changing. There's something that's happening around you. You're not quite sure what it is. And what Spirit is telling you is that this person had to work through certain things, but they are definitely coming towards you. Um, and again, like I said, when you guys both collide, when you guys both come together, it's going to be through a transformation. So it could be something that is major in your life. It could have been a separation, a divorce, a breakup. On their part, it could be the same thing that they're experiencing, some type of uh, pivotal moment in their life where there is a major transition that's happening. So again, um, my advice to you guys is if you have already met this person, the more you try to resist or the more you try to run away from your emotions, the stronger the pull is going to be. So stop resisting it. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.